good morning everybody well is it morning i don't even know if it's morning anymore but i just woke up so technically it's still morning to me um what time is it it's 1 p.m so technically good afternoon but it's low-key kind of morning because i woke up like around 11 50 something and that was not the plan i was supposed to wake up mad early but um i actually was supposed to go to sleep at like 11 12 but my mom wanted to fix a couple of things in her room like because we got her these new bed like things and um and it's like she decided to do it at that moment so you guys hold on there's a police i'm gonna pass by we'll try again tomorrow because i'm gonna be pretty busy this week and i need to start waking up earlier so i can have like you know more time in the day for me to get things done because i gotta ship up ship out these orders that i've got but anyways like i said um it's actually monday clearly it's monday the first does it look orange or is it just me let me know if it, the footage look orange i don't know if it's the setting we put the camera in but it's giving very much orange but anyways um and the reason why i even woke up at 11 something because I, my alarm was actually for like 12 31 um but the usps pick the usps called me and um they called me because I already called them about some type of um, a few of the orders I had cases open and they were calling me in regards to one so I had to get up and actually talk to them but even I had a few new ones because you guys know I just did the Black Friday um, wig selling stuff and yeah this police I feel like it's following me <laughs> ah, this police is freaking following me okay I think this person you ever pass by police and you're trying to drive slow um, but technically, but technically, you're not even doing the speed limit. Like, nigga, drive. They can't stop you if you're doing the fucking speed limit. Like, that don't make no freaking sense. Anyways. Um, but, yeah, like, I had to talk to them early in the morning. And, y'all, this is the thing that they don't tell you about, like, business and you shipping out um, things and stuff like that. Uh, I've had a couple of packages that, you know, um, the USPS things happen and stuff like that, I understand. But the fact that I shipped out about um, 30 plus, yeah, I think about 30, 33 items type of thing. And so far, I already went down the list because I, I one person messaged me and I'm like, okay, let me try to figure it out. And then I caught, and then after that one person called me, um, not called me, but they messaged me and there's like, hey, something's wrong with my order with the USPS. And then another one did the same thing. So I'm just like, okay, let me actually sit there and run through how much things haven't been delivered. Because by now, the packages should have been delivered because I shipped them out literally that same Thanksgiving weekend, which was on Friday. So they should have already received their package. So I went down the line and um, basically, out of all the 33 that I shipped out, about seven, I believe, seven of them, like, it's either they're looping or they're getting shipped back, like, or they're just, I don't know what's going on. So out of the seven, I have to keep calling the USPS. And by now, um, I don't know if they know me by, by now because at this moment, I've been calling their ass like a lot. They're probably sick of me, even the lady, I mean, she was trying to be pretty nice, even though she was kind of giving an attitude, but she was pretty nice about it because I did have a lot of, like, you know, orders that I was trying to get them to check for me because, I mean, I have no choice. I have to check for them. I would rather me check for it now um, than wait for the customer to message me and be like, oh, it's been X amount of days and I still didn't um, receive my package and stuff like that. So, yeah, so out of seven, one is lost. Which means that, um, and also that's the thing that I kind of mess mess around with, and that's like a lesson learned, is that I ship them first class, and with first class, they it does not have any, um, it does not have any insurance. Uh, I I could have sworn that they did because in Shopify, I'm pretty sure I put insurance in them, but I don't know. I guess it's I I might I might have 
put insurance in them and I just have to like you know go through Shopify instead of you know USPS so maybe maybe today I'm gonna check that out but there's no insurance so I already lost that one and that's like 400 some dollars that I just lost and one thing about me I don't like to argue with like the customers and stuff like that I understand that um, things happen so I would just I just refund the money I just refund it um, if it's lost and it's due to the USPS, that's not their fault. Like, it's not their fault. So, I would rather I just try to figure something else. Either, one, try to retrieve the package so I can, you know, restock it on my website. Or, two, um, just find the package and reship it back to them. But, that was not the case. So, I have about six more. And one of them um, actually just got returned back to me. Um, it got returned back to me. So... I'm actually picking it up right now because I do not trust the post office to ship it back because they were supposed to ship back another package that I had from them and they sent it to the wrong location and that location was a shipping location. So they basically just shipped my package. They already shipped my package before they even had a chance to, um, before they had a chance to re ship it back to the correct address i don't know like i'm pretty sure it's because it's the holiday season and you know with the holiday season you know most of the time these people do not care they do not care they're you know um, getting a lot of workload which i'm pretty sure they are they probably do not give a fuck so i feel like that's why a lot of the packages are getting like you know redirected or not being sh shipped to the right person because at this case it's it's none of the customer's fault it's actually the post office so Anyways, that was a long ass rant. Like I said, you guys, this is something that when you're where when you like are shipping out product to customers, these are things that you have to worry about. Like, and honestly, guys, it really takes a toll on you because it's like you wake up and you're like, oh my god, I have to do X, Y, and Z, or oh my god, I need to go call the USPS and get this checked out, or if I don't get it checked out, boom, that's a lo loss of package and the money. So like that, it takes a toll on like my mental. Like I. I'm not saying like it's like oh my god but it's starting to take a toll on my mental so um things like that that's why now i really want to go more towards into teaching which i am going to talk a little bit more about but i would rather just go more into teaching because yeah it's going to get a little dark because there's no sun today i'd rather go into teaching and doing downloads mainly because i don't have to ship out physical products like i feel like that'd be amazing because no no physical products so that mean i won't have to deal with usps i know there might be other issues that i have to deal with but it won't be like you know the package is lost or anything so yeah i'm gonna see if i can take y'all with me try to get some content and put on my mask Let's go. Damn, baby. So I just wasted a whole <laughs> hour of my life. I hate the post office so fucking much. That's really what I wanted to tell her. Like the office, and I hate the people that works there. Like. I hate the people who work at the post office. Okay, let me not say hate because that's such a strong word. But I really dislike the people that they work there. It's either one, they have really, they're very unprofessional. Or two, they just don't know what they're doing. Like, or they just don't give a fuck. So basically, I went in. Okay, camera, I don't got time for you to start around too. Please. Okay, relax. Relax. Um... It's still cricket. So, um, I literally just, um, I got in and basically I went in the wrong place. I stood in the line long as fuck. That was a good, what, 25, 30 minutes already. I had to stand in there just for them to tell me I'm in the wrong fucking line with, where they should have freaking signs and shit that should tell you where to go for what stood in line had to go on another line went to the other place where um for you to pick up mail and basically this man was here arguing i'm gonna answer the clip well she didn't tell me that nobody told me that and then she didn't came straight here because everyone didn't have to get them delivered on this i don't know what social security and all them but this one had they, they said they had to have general delivery 
the man literally stood there at least a good 15 15 probably a little bit more 15 minutes of them fucking arguing with the people because basically he didn't set up something right so um he was arguing with the fucking person so i i hope you guys seen the clip and then at this point another lady was like stepping in she was just like i mean like she was saying it kind of rude but at the same time what she was saying made sense because they kept going back and forth but there was never coming to a resolution like they was arguing with each other but okay y'all are you guys are saying the same thing what the fuck is the resolution what's the resolution i understand x y and z occurred but what is going to be the solution to you know just move on because other people need to you know get their shit so finally girl she had to go get the fucking lady another guy no not even a lady he went to get a guy she went to get a guy to go talk to him which the guy did come and he did talk to him a little bit nicer and i guess try to explain because it i ain't feel like it is true it's not the way it's not what you say to the people it's like how you say it and i'm not gonna lie the lady was like the way she was talking was a little bit rude so why like you know he was getting like a little bit hyped up but at the same time like nigga like and then he finally left 15 15 almost 18 minutes later so overall that's already like a good what 40 40 plus minutes and then um i finally was able to give her a tracking number and tell me why in the system it says um the package is still at the post office and she's talking about oh that my package is out for delivery so why the fuck does it not say that it's it's out for fucking delivery because if i seen it was out for delivery i would never have went and came and wasted my time a whole freaking hour at the fucking post office like like it just don't make any sense so now i have to wait for the freaking person to come to drop it off because i really wanted to just ship the um i just wanted to ship it back today but now nah, i'm just gonna have to wait for them to even see if i could ship it out today like you see no literally this really like really fucks with me like so yeah so that's what's been going on that that was a good rant all right you guys so it's been a couple of hours later and i just went to the gym we went to Publix and got some um yeah my stomach hurts so bad isn't it? it's probably because i haven't ate today but um while i'm talking to you guys um i'm gonna be opening up my um inventory just so i can you know start fixing up the wigs and stuff and so i can start bleaching them while i talk to y'all but so this is most likely gonna be like a renting a renting a ranting vlog because y'all remember earlier today right because this is the same day Remember how, why did they, why is this in three packages? Like, wait, that's dumb. Anyways, um, but yeah, like, remember how I went to the post office today um, to pick up the package. I said that it was there. And then remember how I told y'all, the lady told me that the package has already been, um, oh, these are pretty. Remember how I told you she said that the package was already, um, yeah, I'm having brain farts, but that the package was already, um, on the truck out for delivery, right? And that I couldn't do anything. So I was just like, okay, the, the package is out for delivery. Okay. So I'll just wait for it. And whenever I get it, I will ship it out today. So, you know, the day is passing by and, um, we left for the gym like around what four yeah 4 30 ish we we went to the gym and we got back in my head i'm thinking okay the package is gonna get here by the time i get back from the gym so we get back from the gym mind you we also went to Publix. tell me how okay there was still no package i'm like okay that's weird why did the package still didn't get here it could not have fit in the um mailbox because the package is way too big so i'm like okay something in my spirit something in my spirit told me to check the packaging so tell me why tell me why the package said that it's been delivered and that it's been signed for 
already. So tell me how that makes sense. How did I sign for it and it got delivered to me when I don't have the package? And now tomorrow I'm gonna have to go either go back to them or call. I'm most likely I'm gonna have to just go over there because I speak to the lady because mind you, the lady who told me, um, the lady that I talked to that um, I went to to actually, you know, um, go pick up the package, she got on the phone with the person that the delivery, oh, excuse me, the carrier person that was out for, for delivery in my um, location. And she told me that she has the package on the truck and it's out for delivery. So what sense does that make that it was out for delivery, but now it's saying that it was, it's been delivered and signed for, but I don't have any package. So now I'm scared that they're going to tell me that, okay, there's nothing that they can do. Because mind you, this is what they told me last time with the other package that I had to refund the customer for. And they're probably going to be like, oh, I'm sorry and stuff like that. Like, sorry is not going to give me my money back. So now I got to wait until tomorrow to see exactly what happened. I'm hoping that they still have it over there, which I, I'm trying to be hopeful, but I doubt it. But, um... But yeah, so most likely they probably lost that package too. And the, my only thing is I have four more packages that are probably going to get returned back to me. So I can get reshipped and I feel like it's going to be the same thing. But anyways, yeah. I really don't want this vlog to just be like me ranting. Which it probably already is because I'm pretty sure like 30 minutes of me right now is just me ranting. But um, I just got the um, delivery from, the, um, from my other... Orders that I still have left from Black Friday. I just got the inventory. Now I'm going to just, I'm not really going to be doing them today, but I'm just going to take them out of their package and actually, you know, bleach it and everything and then wash them and then just have them prep for tomorrow. So tomorrow um, we can just start actually making them because I do want to ship a good amount. If not, maybe all of them by Friday. So fingers crossed. That's what I'm about to do. And yeah, I might pick up the camera. I might not because I'm probably gonna be in the mood trying to hurry up. But I'll see you guys when um, I see y'all. Why do you ever realize how other YouTubers' cars be so bright? Mm -hmm. Is it because we're low? But even when I do it in mom's car, it be dark like this too. I don't know if it's the it's camera. Like no. Let me see. I think it's like oh Jesus! Oh God! I don't know, but it, I don't know. It's always like weird to me. But good morning, you guys. It is the con good afternoon. Good good morning. It's good afternoon. Okay, well, technically, I always tell them good morning when I um when I get up, because technically, when I wake up, it's kind of still good morning. But anyways, you guys. So we're on our way to do our lashes. Me and my sis, girl, say hey, bitch. Oh, I look around. But, um, me and my, I'm getting bitch, my hair done, so it's girl. okay. But um, we're about to get our lashes done. Um, I, I really was a little iffy about doing my lashes. Because, you know, I got so used to not having lashes. And then you guys know how the withdrawal be. Because when you get lash extensions, it's really, like, addicting. So um, when you actually take them off, you you know, you be looking like a naked mole, right? You got to get used to it again. So I really didn't want to do it for that reason. But... My sister was doing them and I'm just like, you know what, why not? And then why not just finish the year, you know, right? Because they're so convenient and stuff like that. Especially like if you're doing your makeup or if you don't want to do your makeup. So, so yeah, girl, just move. But anyways, we're on our way right now. We're kind of a little bit late. What's today? Today is Wednesday. I'm not sure when I stopped vlogging, but today is Wednesday. Um, and it's 12.44 in our, well, my appointment's at one. Hers is at two. So she's stressing out about this time. Yeah, she's like stressing. I'm like, I'm, I'm she was telling me late. like we're gonna be late. I, I'm I'm telling her like, girl, I'm gonna be late because my appointment's at one. I, I mean, if anything, I'll push like your appointment back, which I don't really. She's pretty fast. The girl, she's pretty fast. Honestly, I don't even think she'll take the full hour. Maybe like 50 minutes she'll probably take. So I feel like we'll still be good. And even though I feel like sometimes when we get there, sis don't even be finished with the other people. So there was something if she see this. <laughs> oh my god, what if she do see it? I mean, she don't be finished with the other people. So I feel like that gives us a little grace when we do walk in like five minutes late. But I don't think we ever been five minutes late. Just give us a five grace period. Ooh, this lighting looks like trash but anyway so that's where we're about to head right there right there right 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 now 
and I'll probably take you guys inside if my sister records because I want her to record but yeah I'll see you guys when we actually get there understand what we went wrong Do you want to say anything to the guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, follow me on Instagram, Seductive okay. Wings. That's about it. Seductive Wings. Alright. It does. It's like more upbeat tempo because I feel like the other song is more so like slow motion Watch type the stuff. Beginning. I know what I'm talking about. Then it does. Yeah, that one's better. Yeah, we is done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, we is back in action. Let me see. All right, you guys, so we just got back home from doing our lashes. This is how it looks like. I got the um, hybrid set. Um, I'll leave all her information and stuff in the description bar. You want to show your lashes? How? No, period. Lashes done. Um, but yeah, so I got the hybrid, and I think I got the longest length I got was a 20, which was at the end, so it can give it that little blur, blur that little cat hybrid eye. cat eye kind of look and then the rest she just i guess did different lengths and stuff like that i'm not sure about the rest but yeah so we fed we did pass by um dutch pot we anyways but yeah we did pass by dutch pot and we're about to eat some period and i have to right now i'm trying to upload the video for you guys today which is going to be a vlog today um i'm probably just going to after i eat hopefully i don't have to take a nap i'm i'm gonna try not to take a nap but um i have to finish at least a good four more wigs today because in total i think i have about 12 that i have to do so i want to do um i did four yesterday i want to do four today and it's already 4 4 p.m so i'm trying to do four tonight and then tomorrow do the last few so on friday i can ship all those out so i don't have to worry about those orders and stuff like that so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm not sure when I'm gonna pick back up this camera, but I'll see you guys when I see y'all. Okay, you guys, so I'm using a new camera. Um, I'm currently using the new camera, and you guys, I'm still trying to learn how exactly how to use it. Um, I literally don't know what to do with it. Like, my sister took our other regular vlogging camera. She took it because she went to, um, um, is it Europe? I think it's Europe. I don't know, but she went out of um, town with our vlogging camera and I have to figure out how to use this new camera that we got in. Honestly, you guys, I don't know nothing about this camera and this one is a little bit more so techy. And but I do have to say the quality is a little bit more higher than our last camera. So the quality is a little bit more crisp and it's showing a little bit too much for my liking. But um but yeah so i actually just wanted to show you guys eventually i'll f we'll figure out how to use the you know settings and stuff like that yeah eventually we'll figure out how to use the settings and we'll actually have a set setting but for right now this is what we're going to do honestly i feel like it's a little bit dark for my liking like it's not as bright as the last camera and i'm pretty sure that's something in the settings that i have to fix if anything we can just go if youtube's not working out we can just go to like a camera shop to just help fix the settings and everything but um i just kind of you guys are on a try stand because this thing is very heavy that camera is well this camera that i'm using is very heavy so i don't really want to um have it in my hand because my arm is already hurting so um anyway so currently right now i'm gonna just be turning you guys like this so currently we are um let me zoom you guys in um i already started doing the wigs um today is oh i didn't even tell you guys what day it was anyways today is where's my phone today is a thursday can y'all see me Today is Thursday, um, and it's 3.50 p.m. Um, it's Thursday, and it's 3.50 p.m. 
anyway so i currently just started my work day um like i told you guys i'm basically finishing up wigs wigs that i had for last month which was um yeah wigs that i had for last month and it was roughly about like 10 10 to 12 wigs so i'm actually trying to just finish those out because right now i'm not accepting any custom orders so um because i just wanted to get these done first and also i wanted to give my hands a little a little bit of a break but i actually do plan on shipping all these 10 plus orders tomorrow which is friday and i actually have to do like about four weeks a day um which kind of worked out because i kind of only have roughly two and a half weeks left because one of them is basically done i just gotta go ahead and fix the part a little bit um which is this one which is this one and all i have to do is literally like, I already customized it and everything. Um, she's almost done. So, done. I just got to take out the curls and stuff. So, by tomorrow, I should ship out all those orders and I could finish that. And then, um, and then I actually will, sometime this weekend or next week, Monday, I will release my ebook. Well, another ebook, which is going to be more so on how I grew my Instagram. And basically, I went in detail on like step by step how I, you know, do my Instagram and stuff like that. How I was able to gain like 8,000 um, followers within like a four month time span. So, um, I'm gonna do a separate sit down video with that to be dedicated if you guys want to know, want to know more information about that but um yeah but anyways yeah like i said i'm this month is going to be more so focused on you know creating digital products which is going to be the ebook that i'm going to release next week or sometime this weekend and also i'm going to be doing the detailed um video of how i customize my wigs because like i told you guys i am going to be doing a detailed video on that because a lot of people have been asking and um and a lot of people have been asking, but I didn't just want to upload it on YouTube. Um, and I have other people on my business page that purchase it, purchases it, and it wouldn't be fair. So I'm just going to record a video for that, and then I'm going to have start doing video tutorials to have on my website for you guys to support. And, you know, if you guys are interested on how I customize my wigs, do my baby hairs, and all that extra stuff, all that will be in my um, website from moving on forward. But, yeah. I'm sorry about the noise, you guys. So right now what I am going to do is I am about to just finish the two that I have left. Um, and I actually do have a meeting with my website person um, at 5 p.m. So, so yeah, I have a meeting with them at 5, which I'm just going to, it's going to be a Zoom meeting. And it's probably not even going to be that long because I just have a few things that I want to ask her about. And yeah. But we're going to go ahead and just finish the rest of these wigs. And then I'll probably, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick you guys up again today. I might just pick you guys back up tomorrow when I am going ahead and, you know, shipping out the orders and stuff. You guys, it is so dark and I'm so sorry. Uh, after I finish this clip, I am definitely going to try to figure out how to fix the lighting with this camera. Because the, the lighting is very iffy right now. So, um... Yeah, but I'll pick you guys back up, like, you know, later. The next day, I know I look the same, but you guys, I literally live in my robe, and I always have my bonnet on. And do you guys, do you guys see the difference with the, um, the difference with the lighting? Because I have, like, been playing around with it and stuff like that, and I do think it's a little bit, it's much better than it was yesterday, because yesterday was looking atrocious. But it's currently the next day. It's Friday, and it's 2.40 p.m., and I actually do have to um, hurry up and gather myself because I am about to head to the post office. And then I also have a few errands also that I have to run. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be taking you guys with me because this camera is really big. Like, it's really big and heavy, and I just don't feel comfortable like i guess holding it and even the stand that i have i just ordered a new one on amazon one that's a little bit more sturdier because this camera is way heavier than our vlogging camera and it was able to hold that um hold the weight but this this one she's too heavy she's too heavy so um i just ordered a new one just so it could you know actually hold the weight and also i also bought this other pad thing that i'll be able to actually put this big camera on the um 
the dashboard if I do want to take you guys around with me but those don't come until tomorrow so I'll see if I continue the vlog for tomorrow if not this will just be a I guess a short vlog which I mean I guess you guys don't really mind if it's a short vlog but that's what I'm about to do I'm about to start putting these um these things in the packages so we can go ahead and get ready because I have to quickly also shower as well um yeah I got a shower and then I'm gonna go to the post office so yeah I'll give you guys a little bit b-roll and you guys might see me you guys might see me you guys might not see me like I said I might end it I might not end it so yeah you guys so I'm actually on my way it's it's 525 I did not even have time to shower because I won't have time so I'm just gonna shower when I get back it's like you oh I always think that I have so much time but I don't anyways so I just popped on my wig and then and y'all, guess what package just came? Where is it? The one, remember the one that, I'm not sure if it's in this vlog or another one, but remember the package that I said that um, they they were supposed to deliver it here that was being returned to me, that was being delivered here. Um, but it actually said that I picked it up at the post office, but I didn't. Tell me why three three days later, how oh, or how many ever days later, it just came and then it was just like, it just came out of nowhere and I'm just like that's weird because I already have like a claim and stuff on it because I did have insurance and stuff on it so um, I was just waiting for the claim but since it came um, I'm about to ship it back um, yeah I'm about to I made a new shipping label and everything new packaging because they look like they've been kicking the, the hell out of that thing so I made a new shipping label and I'm about to just ship that out the same day as well and now I'm just going to go ahead and put all my stuff. Because I really don't have... You know, I've been seeing a lot of um, that new business of them having the... Um, having those small business bags. But honestly, they're not really considered to people that have like wigs and stuff like that. Because our packages are a little bit more bigger. Honestly, I might have to create something like that. Don't steal my idea. But I'm just going to use this box take you guys with me because this is a really big camera y'all this lighting looks really good it looks really good i'm just gonna head to the post office and come back i'm not gonna run all the other errands that i said i was gonna run but yeah so if this is the end of the vlog then thank you guys for watching and if it's not i'll see you guys later hey youtube hey y'all so it's currently the same day um it's just a couple of hours later what time is it it is nine 48. Oh, Jesus, cute. Thank you. But yeah, so it's a couple of hours later. Friend we getting home. dressed. Um, sis wanted to go out. Yeah. So, yeah, I was supposed to be watching the rest of Mission Impossible, but I'm we like, Mission Impossible. why not? We going so, out. So, we, where are we about to go? We're about to go to this place called Schwa Hollywood. So, if you live in the South Florida area, it's off Hollywood Boulevard, you know, the Strip. It's Haitian American. The food is like Haitian cuisine, but it's Child really good. Taste the food. No, the food good, friend. It be hitting. It be hitting. Child, shut a fit. Shut a fit. You know. So we can finish off the vlog. <sighs> so you know, I got on some slight, I'm like to move that. a little slight, little new dress. I got my Coma de Garcons. Can you guys see them? Ooh, girl, what is those? Coma de Garcons. Oh yeah, it's it's a tongue twister, oh, but shit, I don't know what they people mean. who wear shoes know. You know, I got my little. NY Gucci hat. Got love fancy. You know, something slight, nothing heavy, slight work. 
I'm you know, dead. It's me, man. Do y'all miss me? Y'all ain't seen me in a while, you too. Yeah, I think that was like what? Since after we built your closet. Mm hmm. That was a long ass time ago. But yeah, I'm just trying to do my shoes. I got these okay, from Shein. Let me, let me help you. I'm going to do like a haul on this pretty soon. Probably. Probably going to do this haul tomorrow. But you guys are going to see all these stuff in the haul. Like, for instance, these shoes. What size did I get these in? Didn't you tell me? I think it was a 40. Were these the ones that you said it was a 40? Oh, I don't do them tight. Bitch, them shit's going to slip out my feet. Hold on. Because I ain't never wore these shoes before. Mm -mm. I'm not a sneaker girl. Yeah, don't worry. That's why I'm here. See? Uh, you think I should wear the boots? The boots? Yeah. No, the boots is like I wear the you wear the boots with like a uh you what's the jackets called? Them Letterman jackets. I the, have one. Like a varsity jacket. Yeah, I rather you wear those boots with that. Right, cause they're a little, they're a little floppy. Friend, you're not going to go play soccer. I'm. You dead. do not need your shoes to be that tight, cause that's gonna make your feet hot and sweat. We do not that's need right. that. You finna be sitting, being cute anyways, and eating. I'm giving fly. Uh-uh, not you trying to walk like you're walking in a band. Stop listening. No, because I'm trying to see how when I walk, because I feel my feet lifting. <laughs> right. Oh, maybe I should have got a size out. Down. No. Jazz probably beautiful. Yeah. Because it was a mission putting these dress on. But anyways, guys, so this is what I got on. This dress from, I think this dress from Fashion Nova. And I you did a haul. It's in, it's in one of your other YouTube hauls. Yeah. And then I got on these... These shoes, I don't know what the hell these are. Got my little JBW watch, and I'm gonna have like a jacket on. <laughs> Can't wear mine because it doesn't fit me yet. I gotta I get did. it sized. But yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to try to take some pictures. Um, I want to see how they look like. But if I do take pictures, well, I'm gonna do some test runs on her. But and also if I do do a little clips of where we go, I'm gonna insert it at the end of the vlog. But if you guys don't see any other clips after this and that I mean that's the end of the vlog um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye again tell me again